What's up, you guys? This looks like an easy integral to you, but it's not an easy integral, trust me. This is not an easy integral. To those who just wants to give this a try, let's have a little race, okay? Let's, let's see how fast you can solve this integral, and then I'll go ahead and show you what to do. All right, ready, cassette, go. Let's see, this is e to the x, one, uh, plus e squared. This is one uh, U Oh God, I am very slow right now. Uh, F prime. G prime. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay. Oh uh, god. Um says infinity says one plus root three. Okay. U Oh uh, god. And then this is W minus U. And then this is DU. Oh, it's, oh my god, I forgot, it's two. Okay. So this is w squared plus w plus one. This is w squared minus one. Uh, this is two w. Two w squared plus W minus W squared minus plus one. Because that's going to be. Oh shit! Okay. Okay, I was right. Thank goodness. This is negative two inverse tanch. And then. This minus, uh, it's gonna be a plus root three plus one. Uh, 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 oh god, let's see, ln of one plus two three. I really hope I'm not. I hope I'm getting this right. <laughs> I don't know. That might not. That might not be correct. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, I rushed so badly. <laughs> I <laughs> my whole brain was just speed bashing this whole way through. But of course, as you can see, I was Euler dodging. Now, without Euler dodging, was there an easier way? If you did, if you did trig sub, um, I feel I feel very bad for you. Um, I'm sorry if you went to this route. Um, if you use hyperbolic substitution instead, so like let's say if you let u plus one half equal root three over two, uh, cinch cinch theta, 
I don't, know, I don't know about you, but I don't know if I want to deal with this. <laughs> okay. With hyperbolic and root three? <laughs> um, ooh, I don't know. I'm, I, God, I don't know what to tell you. If you did trick sub, hyperbolic sub, um, I'm sorry. If you're doing trig sub, I think that's the best way to do it is to let u equal let w equal negative x e to the negative x. Then your answer would be like this. And I think that's where you can go ahead and use um oh my god, now I think about it. This this is actually a lot better to do for trig sub. Uh not trig sub. Um hyperbolic sub, I'm sorry. Yeah, this would be nice for hyperbolic sub. It's just, it'll be annoying to deal with when you do, uh, oh no, because then you get zero to one. Huh. Hold on, That's this looks way too nice. Oh, maybe maybe I'm rushing this. Maybe I'm rushing this. Um, but if you're going to use hyperbolic substitution, let w equal e to the negative x instead. Okay, so you get this. Don't if you're getting this, do not do trig sub or hyperbolic sub. If you get this, hyperbolic sub, then you let what this is this is this. Okay? And then you let w plus a half equal root three over two cinch theta. Okay? So that now you get uh, plug in one you get um, root 3, inverse cinch of root 3, and then if you plug in 0, you get 1 half, um, 1 over root, oh, okay, yeah, this, this is where I, I missed. This is where I missed, okay. d theta, and then um, cosh, Cosh data root 3 over 2, but then we have root 3 over 2 here. That's going to be cosh. So they all cancel out. So your answer is technically inverse cinch of root 3 minus inverse cinch of 1 over root 3. If you got this, congratulations. <laughs> this is the correct answer. Uh, I could actually check. If I check, that is not correct. Log of 3, wow. Ooh, so would you look at that? Ln of, ln of 3 over 2. If I do arc cinch of square root of 1 over root 3. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I might as well go like this. There you go. If this is equal to ln of 3 over 2, then your answer is correct. Why is it complex? Oh my god, I put arc. Ah, there you go. It's correct. Okay, so this is probably the fastest way to do this integral. Okay, so the fastest way to do this is to use hyperbolic uh, substitution. Okay, be very careful. Don't let don't u sub for e to the x. U sub e to the negative x. Okay, and then you're good to go. So this is the fastest way. To solve this integral, what we can learn from from that hyperbolic route is, I think the best way is to let u equal e to the x, and then u sub e to the negative x. So pretty much, I guess a cheating way route is turning it into this into this. <laughs> So that's what we can learn from this, is if we ever come across this integral, let u equal e to the x, okay, so, and then let uh, w equal e to the negative x, and then this gives us this, okay? So from, if we ever see this, this is, this is our pathway, okay, and then do that hyperbolic uh, substitution. Now, if you want to be like me, where you want an Euler dodge, uh, I will post a second video of me 
spoiler dodging the method that I used to race you guys. Okay? So I'll see you guys in that next video.